Hello everyone, and welcome back to My Left Eye. Poor old Keith's been caught out again in a BBC News article. Keir Starmer, £28 billion green pledge is confident ambition in the latest rollback on a previous pledge. Starmer caught out again. Uh, the party rode back on its original green pledge last year, according to this article, saying it would ramp up to reach the figure after 27, uh, 2027, rather than hitting it in the first year of a Labour government, as previously promised. It's now facing questions over whether this could be watered down further. Sir Keir told LBC that the policy was subject to party's fiscal rules. These include the debt, uh, that debt has to be falling as a share of the size of the economy in five years. Just sounds like the latest excuse for him to go back on a previous pledge as we've seen so many times since Keith took over the Labour Party's original 10 pledges, if you remember those, were completely thrown out of the window. And ever since then, every promise or pledge that he's made seems to be going the same way. So when he was asked whether he could guarantee the £28 billion figure um, would be reached at some point in the first term of a Labour government, if the party wins power, the Labour leader said, we're talking about where we might be in 2027, so being a careful and cautious former lawyer, I know that the world can change. He added, I'm confident that we can get to that figure, but in the end, the fiscal rules come first now. The fiscal rules were the same when he made these pledges. Nothing's really changed. So why is it now? It's just more carrot on the stick stuff. He's just stalling for time. And at the moment, it's very difficult to really put any kind of substantial difference between the current government of the Tories and Labour, who are trying to get into uh, power sometime in 2024. As we found out the other day, Rishi Sunak says he's aiming for an election later on in the year, but we'll see if he changes his mind on that. So Starmer, according to the article, also highlighted the party's aim of generating all electricity without fossil fuels by 2030, saying he was, quote, completely committed to this target. However, when pressed on his policy on existing fossil fuel licences, he said that he would not cancel any existing licences. So again, further hypocrisy there. Uh, last June, Shadow Chancellor Rachel Reeves pushed back uh, this 28 billion target, saying the party needed to be responsible with the public finances given the poor economic backdrop and rising cost of borrowing. The Conservatives have sought to use the policy to attack Labour's economic credibility, claiming it's unaffordable and would mean taxes would have to increase. There have also been internal divisions within Labour over the policy, with some raising concerns privately about whether it's affordable in the current economic context. In terms of economy, in terms of cost, renewables are always going to be cheaper. We know this. It takes a very short amount of time to set up uh, renewable, re renewable energy systems such as wind farms and tidal uh, energy stations. So uh, that's that argument right out of the window. It, it takes decades uh, to set up uh, oil terminals and uh, nuclear facilities. The, the way that they want to go forward. So let us know what you think about this uh, latest, not quite U-turn, but significant delay from Starmer. Is he again just promising more things that he's not going to deliver? And how close do you think that Starmer's labour is to the current Tory party? Do let us know in the comments. We'll do our best to get back to you as soon as we can on my left eye. Until next time, look after yourselves, everybody, and we'll see you soon.